What up guys, welcome to your 24th tutorial. And for this tutorial I'm not going to be able to show you uh, what we're going to do first just because um, I kind of want to show you what's wrong with our program right now. And first I want to also say a huge thanks to Film Grip one for making a donation. That, that completely shocked me and I was super happy to see that and just it was so generous. So thanks, thanks for doing that man. Definitely appreciate it. Um, and but now we're going to get into our lesson and basically what we're going to do in this lesson is I'm going to show you what's wrong with this um, wallpaper app that we set up so far and what we can do to fix it as well as getting our program to run in full screen. So I'm just going to show you uh, that for this lesson and I want you to open up your emulator and if you, uh, also on your computer you want to turn off your number lock um, so those numbers on the side are disabled and then you can hit your FN seven or nine um, and it will turn your emulator uh, to the side or you know back to where it was but I'm just going to show you the problem with our program right now is that we can't see that scroll view that holds our image views so that's a huge problem with this program because we didn't set our whole page to be scrollable and you know I also want to just get rid of this right here so it's completely full screen so first I'm going to show you um, how to get our uh, or to set our orientation so when you turn your phone to the side it won't change it'll only be in one position either um, let's see here either it will look like this permanently how we have this set up or it will look like uh, the way that we had it set up before um, and my computer's taking a little bit to process but either that or it will be just like this even if the person turns the phone it'll still look like this on the side I don't know if that's kind of confusing but uh, you'll understand it here so I want you to open up the Android manifest and this is just to set that sc screen orientation and we're going to find our tutorial 3 um, because that's where we set up our wallpaper and right here in the opening part of the activity we're going to uh, add another little Android function and so you're just going to type in Android and then screen. Oops, I think that might be the lowercase s. Screen uh, orientation. And we're going to set this equal to either uh, portrait or landscape. And portrait will be the one that we're used to. Landscape is when you turn the emulator on its side. So we're going to hit portrait. And then we have it closed off there, so we're good to go. Now, when we tilt our screen, it won't even uh, affect the program. The program's going to be running as if it was in the portrait view still. So there we set our orientation. We fixed that little problem, so our image view won't uh, be you know, hidden when the phone's turned on side. And now what we want to do is we want to set that same app up to be full screen. So we're going to open up our tutorial 3. And... Uh, and before the set content view, we're going to set up a few more functions here. Um, and this is to get full screen. What we need to do is request the window feature. Um, and this is going to uh, basically get rid of that title that we had. So we need to first hit request window feature. And inside its parameters. Sorry. Uh, inside its parameters. It's going to be window dot feature no title because we don't want that title. You can see some of those other features in there. And then bam, we got rid of our title already. But now we need to set it to be full screen. So we're going to have to get the window and set some flags. Um, so basically that's what we're going to do is get window. And this will be a method. It'll just kind of uh, let's see if it gives us a little detailed description here. It's just going to retrieve the current window for the activity um, and it can be used directly to access parts of the window API that are not currently available through the activity screen. So basically it's getting our window um, information or you know basically that whole screen. And what we want to do is we, like I said we want to set the flags And as you can see, it takes uh, it takes in the flags and uh, as the first parameter, and also takes in mask for the second parameter. 
And again, we're just going to scroll over to see what those two things mean and what we need to set up our parameters as. Again, it sets, uh, this is just setting the flags. So the first parameter here, um, the new window flags, that's basically going to be a parameter layout that we're going to give to the phone. And the mask is which one of the flag bits uh, to modify. So we're just going to get rid of these and set up our own little uh, functions for the flag and for the mask. So the first one we're, we're going to call from the window, the window manager, and obviously this just kind of manages everything in the window class or in the window with the windows. And we hit dot, and we have a couple choices. It's going to be layout parameters or layout params, and then also we're going to hit dot, and we have these choices over here. Again, we want it to be full screen. So um, flag full screen is what our flag is going to be. Now we set up our first parameter and we just have to do the same for the second parameter for the mask. It will actually be the exact same code because we want it to be full screen. So I'm just going to type up window manager dot layout param dot uh, flag full screen. and end it with a semicolon and we are good to go. So basically I'm just going to save it and check it out and make sure everything's working good. Pretty quick lesson but you know this is pretty useful stuff because a lot of games they don't want it to be tilted so we change that in Android manifest as well as it's going to be full screen and no title so we get rid of that stuff. So hopefully that's a pretty uh, useful lesson for you guys and it's pretty quick and easy. So Thanks again for watching and subscribing. Give me those thumbs up and definitely join the forum. I'm, I'm surprised that there's so many people in the forum already. So uh, thank you for doing that as well. Oh, yeah, and I think uh, to change the emulator on an actual uh, desktop computer, you don't even have to hit the function key. Um, you can just hit the 7 or 9 on the number pad if you disable the number lock. And again, for a laptop, you press the button FN for function, and then you can hit 7 or 9. So first, I'm going to open up our tutorial 3. And now I'm going to hit the function, uh, function 9. And it's going to turn on side. But now this time, you may be thinking my computer's taking forever to load. It's not. This is what it's going to be set as. So it's going to stay like that, even when the phone is tilted. And as you can see, we got rid of our uh, title bar and it's full screen. So that's pretty sweet as well. And this app should be uh, good to go for this little um, tutorial three. Also, another thing you can do to make your wallpaper app a little bit better is when they set the wallpaper, um, you can display a toast. And again, you just put that in the same code. So I'd recommend doing that and just say like a toast like wallpaper has been set because you know when you press a button you expect something to happen you don't really see it and also I'm probably going to change this tutorial 3 to something like wallpaper app if you guys want to be like me exactly so oh well thanks again guys uh, catch you later thanks for watching peace